All right, so welcome back to episode five of making a simple notes app. So just a quick recap of last episode. What we have done is we have linked our base. We have created uh, the functionality for adding notes, and we have linked our super base to uh, the UI over here to show our data from our super base table inside our home page. So now, in this episode, we'll just be uh, continuing to finish up on the home page UI as well as the functionality to delete our notes from our UI, both from our UI and also from our Superbase table with by pressing this delete icon over here as well as adding our navigation of whenever we press on our press on a note a note tile it will bring us to a note page and show the title and body text as well and the last modifier. Alright, so let's get started. So to add the delete functionality, we will click on this delete icon over here and go to the actions and open the action flow editor. So what we want to do is we want to delete the data the data of the row that we have selected inside our super base table. Alright, so to delete a row from our super base table is extremely simple. We can just click on add action and we can search super base. And then we can, under super base, we see that there's this delete row option which we can select. So under the table, we can just select our notes table. And there's this uh, option of matching rows. So what matching rows is that it adds a filter for us to uh, decide on which row or rows you want to delete. If you leave this as now, it will just delete everything, all the rows within our super base table, which is not one, what we want. So we want to add a filter. And for this, we will filter for ID. And we want the ID, we want to delete the row where the ID column is equal to our notes row ID our notes row, row query ID which will reflect the note that we have tapped the delete icon on so yeah after we click on delete after we delete the row that's basically it for to deleting a row in Superbase however we also need to add one more action which is the refresh database request and what this and then under refresh database you can just search for list view so what this will do is after we send a backend call to delete the row from database we need to refresh our database request such that the ui over here will be updated as well if you do not add this refresh database request after you uh, send do something with your database table from Flutterflow, the UI will not be refreshed and it will not reflect the change that you have just made in Superbase. So it is actually important to add this refresh database request action. Alright, so the final thing that we will be adding in this video is the functionality to click on the note container and go to the note page. So to do that, click on the list tile container and we can add an action. Our action will be to navigate to our home page. We can close it for now. And now whenever we click on this, uh, we, whenever we click on any list tile container, it will navigate to the note page. So now let's change these uh, the dates modify the title and body text to reflect the title body text and last modified that we have clicked inside the note container so click on the date of the rich text and we will change it and we will add some page parameters which we will pass in whenever well, we click on the list tile container so you can click on this for the dates we will select page parameters and we will create new page parameter just name it last modified default parameter can be a space 
For their title, we will add another page parameter. Create new page parameter and we'll just name it title. And let's just name it space for the default value. And for the body text, we'll just do the same. Create new page parameter, body text. And default value space. Alright, so now it is done. We've added the page parameters and it will reflect the last modified title and body text within the notes page itself. So now what we must do is we must uh, pass values of these parameters whenever we tap on this uh, note tile container. So I just realized that this is not home page, it's supposed to be the note page. Okay, so now we have to pass uh, values for the par page parameters. So if we go into the action flow manager, we can see that there's this option for parameters and we can pass values inside. I'll click on this to pass these three values. So for last modified page parameter, we want to pass the value of our notes row and the last modified value in our notes row query. We can do the same for the title as well as the body text. So just click on this, pass the value of the title from our notes row query. And for the body text, we just do the same thing. The body text over here. Alright, so that's basically it. Let's test our functionality that we have just added inside test mode. And I'll see you back when the test mode has loaded. Alright, so test mode has finally loaded. So we can see that there is the node that we created last episode. We can try creating another node. Let's give it any random title and any random body text. It doesn't matter. Create click notes. Hmm. And as you can see that the notes did not appear in the UI over here. So what is going on? Well, we can check our create note component and you can see that under the action flow editor of the, when we insert a row, we are not actually refreshing our database query. So although it, the row has been added inside our superbase table, it is actually in fact not uh, being refreshed in the UI because Flutterflow is not refreshing our super base query inside the UI. Okay, so we just go to the create node component and under the create node button, we want to close our bottom sheet after it has done after it's done inserting the row. So we add an action and we can just uh, select this one here, close dialog draw. We can close that. And then now we want to refresh our UI, our super base query after the dialog has been closed and we have added the row. So we click on our floating action button, go to action flow editor and add the action to refresh the database query, which is over here. And for the widget, we'll just select this view because that's where we added the query onto. So let's just now test it in the test mode. We'll try to create a new note. Then when we click on the create note, it will automatically close the dialog. And as you can see, the new note has been reflected here in the UI. Now let's test the delete note uh, functionality. Can click on this delete icon and it should remove the notes. As you can see, the UI has inside the UI the note has been removed. We can check our super base table and we can check that it has indeed been removed from the super base table as well. So that part works, and we can just try to click on the notes now to go to the note page. And as you can see, it is correct. The title 
and body text as well as the date modified has been reflected in the note page as well. Alright, so that brings us to the conclusion for our episode today. I hope that you have had fun and you have learned something new. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.